BS Abdul Rahman University, earlier known as BS Abdul Rahman Crescent Engineering College. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, uh, give a small lecture on the topic corrosion. Okay, so what is this corrosion? Why does metal undergo corrosion? Right? So, we see more mainly this iron is undergoing corrosion forming iron oxide or iron hydroxides right? and likewise some other metals, but some metals corrode and some metals do not corrode. Why is that only some metals corrode and some do not corrode? So, that is the reason we are going to see why at all first of all let us see metals undergo corrosion. Corrosion is a process when a metal undergoes oxidation to form metal ions and some amount of energy is released during the corrosion process. Okay. So, this process we call it as oxidation and why in nature at all corrosion occurs. Right? For example, let us take the other way around reverse of corrosion. What is that? What do we call the process a reverse of corrosion? That means, the metal ions should undergo reduction to form the corresponding metal. Right? So, now metal ions take some energy and then it forms the metal. So, this process we call it as metallurgy. So, if you see on earth all most of the metal exist in the form of ions. They do not exist in the form of metal except for few noble metals. Right. So, in, in on earth we have it naturally in our temperature and pressure condition they exist as metal ions and not as metals. So, what are we doing as scientists or people engineers when we want materials we supply energy we do extraction process from the metal we do a reduction process and we get a metal. So, this metal is the one which makes all our equipments vessels and so many things the buildings monuments makes a metal, but these metals are not stable right. So, they actually try to go into its natural state of undergoing oxidation that means, they like to go into their normal state of stability. So, this process is actually a corrosion. Now, so corrosion is actually a natural phenomenon. So, we cannot stop it. So, corrosion is a natural phenomenon which means that a gradual destruction or a deterioration of a metal or an alloy to its compounds. Right? So, it can be depending on the type of its stability it can be plus 2 oxidation state or into a plus 3 oxidation say or whichever oxidation state. Right? So, we define corrosion is a gradual destruction or a deterioration of a metal or alloy to its most stable ionic state. This is what happens for all the metals that we get through the metallurgy process. This is exceptional for noble metals. Noble metals do undergo, they do not undergo oxidation, but they might undergo oxidation at a different temperature pressure condition. So, what we are talking here is in terms of our earth temperature and pressure conditions, these metals undergo an oxidation. Right? So, that we call it in terms of the term called corrosion and corrosion itself are of two types. We have um, corrosion, it is called as a dry corrosion and a wet corrosion. So, the name itself means dry means dry corrosion in the absence of moisture. So, there is no water here. Right? So, here this happens in the presence of Water. So, you have to have water to have a wet corrosion. If there is no water, also metals can undergo corrosion. That is, you have around air, the materials present in the air, the matter present in the air can lead to corrosion. Like you can have oxygen, you can have hydrogen present in the atmosphere, reactive elements present in the air can also react with the metal to form its metal ion. That means, it can trigger oxidation process that you call it as a dry corrosion. 
but in the presence of moisture it can undergo metals easily undergo corrosion to undergo wet corrosion. So, wet corrosion is a rapid phenomenon. So, it is much more rapid because of water present it can undergo corrosion. So, dry corrosion is a slow process. So, dry corrosion usually happens because of oxygen present in the atmosphere. So, in the atmosphere the oxygen can react with a you know metals. So, metal reacts with oxygen forming the metal oxide right. So, this is a dry corrosion whereas, metal can react with water means it will form metal hydroxides right. So, this is a wet corrosion. So, the product form may be temporarily they are different. So, these hydroxides slowly can get converted into the metal oxides. So, today we have seen what is corrosion? Corrosion is the gradual destruction and deterioration of metal or its alloy to its most stable ionic state and uh, the reverse of corrosion is the metallurgy which is the unnatural phenomenon that right? corrosion is of two types dry corrosion and a wet corrosion. Dry corrosion happens mainly because of the presence of oxygen or any other reactive elements present in the air but in the absence of water. And uh, wet corrosion is relatively rapid because moisture can sit over the metal and it can trigger the process of corrosion and it forms metal hydroxide.